Hey YouTube, uh, this week's tarot video is going to be about tarot storage. I thought it might be interesting to some folks um, to show you some of the pouches that I've purchased from different Etsy shops because I have uh, done about six or so um, different shops and tried out their pouches and I thought you might be interested in um, my thoughts on those uh, if you are considering purchasing some pouches from Etsy. So what I normally do, um, I like the the boxes with the just a lid or the hinge or the like magnetic thing, but I don't really like keeping my tarot in really big boxes because even though those are well made, it's kind of a lot of space on the shelf. Um, or tuck boxes because they get so easily damaged. So when my tarot decks come in one of those two, I tend to purchase a pouch. I don't keep them in the box and the pouch, so size-wise we're talking about just the naked deck um, in the bag. So the first one I will show you is, the shop is Ms. Craft B, and this one there are a lot of cool patterns. Um, I think I picked this one because there are some patterns I specifically wanted. Um, this one is different crystals. It's for my Future Vision Gem Tarot, um, the Steven Universe one. You can kind of see, um, I'll try to kind of show you the deck itself. So this is how big the deck is. Um, it's a pretty standard size tarot deck and there's a little extra space. So definitely room um, for the decks in these. I haven't bought, I got a couple at first and I haven't bought any more because it's this style um, and the the tails are really long and I don't think, it doesn't look like there's an option on these. Um, they kind of get tangled up with things and so I kind of learned quickly that that wasn't my favorite style. Um, admittedly, although there are a lot of good patterns to choose from in that shop. Um, this one, similarly, this is from a store called Spectrums Studios. Um, this is a 5x7 with the cotton lining. Um, there's also a silk lining option. This again fits well, so you can see there's a little space on either side. This is my Raven's Prophecy, so a fairly standard size tarot deck. A little space at the top, so good size. A little less likely to tangle than the lacy ends, but you can see they are super long, so I tend to kind of do something like this to put them in the shelf. Um, so again, it works okay, but maybe not my favorite. Um, so my current favorite shop um, is uh, Heather Rain Lover, who has been on a break for a long time, so I hope this shop comes back. Um, and I, so I've tried some other ones because it's been unavailable for a while. So this is the four by five and a half inch size. There are multiple sizes available. There's a ton of different fun patterns. So like I love this kind of mathy like astronomy one for the Tarot of the Silicon Dawn. Um, Tarot of the Silicon Dawn is fairly small, so there is a lot of extra space in, in here, or a fair bit of extra space, but it still fits pretty well. Um, it's a thicker deck, so it actually takes up the bit more of the bag because it has a lot of extra cards. And I just really like the zipper. Um, I, I decided that the zipper pouch was really a good way to go for me. It's got a little tassel, um, so it's easy to open, and it's just this, uh, four by five and a half inch is just a really good size. So I have maybe like five or six of these in different patterns and I really like all the pattern options. But like I said, that shop is at least currently on a break. So then the next one, and sorry, I might have to pause a few times because I'm actually in my Etsy account so that I can make sure I tell you all the correct information about sizes and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. So the next one, this, I don't think this shop does very many um, bags, but this is from the from Crohn's Witchery LLC. I think it's more of a general witchy shop, um, but I really like this Batik bag. It does have the, like I'm not in love with all the this, but um, it's a bigger bag. Let's see if I can find the actual dimensions. Um, so I've been using this for my Next World Tarot. If you know the Next World Tarot, it is large, um, but there's still a little bit of space on either side. So this was perfect. I actually got this intending to use it on the Numinous, but I realized that because of the size, it was good for the Next World and because it's super rainbowy, it's a good one for a clear deck. Seven by seven is the size on this one. So if you have an Oracle deck or a, um, a bigger tarot deck, this can work. So then this one I really 
like um this is the spirit spirit den um i really like their stuff they have like tote bags and things as well i i just really like what they have on the bag so this one um in my defense uh the moon was full and i was left unsupervised um i also have one that says in rainbow magical af since my initials are af and it's rainbow so super queer it makes me happy um so i have like four or five of these um they are zipper pouches there is a little extra space on either side let's see what is in this bag i can't remember um this is the triple goddess i think yeah no it's actually the the wayfarer tarot but a pretty standard size so you can see there's about this much space on the top this much on the sides um but again i really like what they have on them it's just a simple zipper you can get a tassel for extra but i didn't really care um so they're not great for like really tiny decks but they work well for a standard size or slightly bigger i did have my next world in this bag for a while and it was a little too small like it did technically work but it was a little bit of a struggle and i find myself not using the deck because it was hard to get out of the pouch so i wouldn't recommend it for oracle decks but it's good for a standard tarot and you can always in the shelf kind of fold the edge around if you need to okay and then let's see what do we have so a few i got a few kind of one-offs recently because heather rainlover wasn't available so i tried this is from the purple hedgehog this is a standard four by six size this is actually meant to be like a, a makeup bag or a coin purse or something um and it is quite narrow so i was initially thinking it would work for a standard tarot deck um again it's four by six but the um because it's so narrow doesn't really what i put in here is the um my quality what is it called my quality time self-care deck something like that um so they're kind of littler and it's a, a thinner deck so it fits so if you have a, a small oracle deck or like a mini deck this would work um but again it's a zipper pouch and then uh i got my first bag from sparks creations um peggy you may know um if you know lisa uh, supportive tarot's channel um her wife peggy does tons of bags um and there's lots of different options i again was like not totally sure about the um it's not a zipper style but lisa pointed out that these are not super long and so they're pretty easy to just you know tuck away which is true um this is a little on the larger side so i have the numinous in here and basically what i do is just fold it over so that's how big the deck is so this would work for an oracle um for most oracle decks as well uh this size and again tons of patterns to choose from um i really i kind of like for the numinous even though i mean this is like navigation and and um like the globe but it there's something about this look that made me think of kind of like like it's not what it is but it kind of made me think of like stars and like you know um i don't know like exploration made me think of the numinous this is from bright arrow i got this one specifically um it's more of a natural kind of fiber um i got this specifically for my everyday witch because i thought that the the pattern the design matched really well um and it fits perfectly there's just a little extra space but not much um and then finally i got a few bags from this store serenity energy works now these are a little more padded so there's they're lined and you can i don't know if you can really tell but there's like some padding in here so they are a little thicker like they add a little bit on either side of the deck um they will keep your deck nice and safe um i have the hip chick in here which is like standard ish i think it's a little larger than standard um so these are there's definitely some space on either side even of a larger deck and a little space on the top but it slides really nicely into my shelf so i like these and they're they're more um they're really pretty like there's an array of sort of designs like this so if you like um bright colors if you like kind of really pretty things then uh serenity energy works is a good choice so yeah those are um the places i've bought pouches from i would love to see reviews of other um etsy shops or other places where you get pouches i would also really love to see if anybody has recommendations for boxes like i would love to be able to buy um something like just like the wild unknown like this kind of like 
you know, lid box um, that I could either design or that was already had designs on it or something. But I can't find that anywhere. It's like there's wooden boxes, which are much more expensive. And there are like gift boxes, but they never seem to be the right size for a tarot deck. So if anybody has come across somewhere where you can buy those for decks that don't come with them, that would actually be my preference over bags. I just had not found it. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment below. And um, if you enjoy this kind of tarot content, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, have a great rest of your day.